Looking for a star tracker that's lightweight and versatile? In this video, we will go over the features of the Vixen Polari, some pros and cons, and help you decide if this is a star tracker for you, starting now. Hi there, my name's Dalen. Here at Astro Escape, we go over all things astrophotography, starting from the very beginner level and working our way up from there. If you're new here, and you like what you see as you're watching the video, consider giving this one a like. Let's get started. Coming in at 300 US dollars at the time of recording, the Vixen Polari is a unique star tracker that packs quite a little punch. Going into the features, this small tracker has multiple useful modes. One is setup, which is useful for getting everything polar aligned. Another is side reel, which is the actual star tracking. Another is half side reel tracking, which is useful for time lapses and longer Milky Way exposures. And then we also have a lunar and a solar mode in case you want to take pictures of those as well. On the side here, it has a tilt meter to help you set your latitude. It can also run off of AA batteries or it can be powered with an external battery which is actually something I recommend doing. Speaking of the battery compartment, this is where the north and south switch is located, making this usable in either hemisphere. There's a cold shoe on top for any accessories you might want to use, and on the back of it, you can unscrew a compass to help you point out the direction just for helping you set up a little bit early before sunset. On the bottom of the star tracker is a one quarter inch screw base, making it compatible with almost any camera tripod or ball head. Moving into a few pros, the first one is is that it's lightweight. So if you have to uh, do a little bit of hiking to get to where you're gonna do a Milky Way shot, it's not very heavy. And on top of that, it's smaller in size, so that way it can fit in whatever bag you're carrying. Now, if your bag has some limited space, you can also remove the camera mounting block and put those in separate spots in the bag just to help uh, fit everything in there. One thing to note about the camera mounting block is you'll want to screw a ball head in, making it easier to aim the camera to whatever object you're imaging. Now, the Vixen Polari is pretty easy to use, but one nice thing is that it does come with a pretty in-depth user manual. So this user manual also helps show exposure length recommendations based on your latitude and the focal length of your lens. It does the same thing for the half side reel as well, which is useful for your Milky Way shots with a ground that still appears still. Now we can't have a star tracker that is only pros. There are a few cons, and the first one is it needs to be very level to be precise. Now you can use a wedge with it to help level it out on top of your tripod, but if you don't have a wedge to put on your tripod. If you have a pan head tripod, use that instead, especially if it has a little level on the tripod itself. It'll make things immensely easier. Another con here is that there is no included counterweight system, which is kind of a bummer because it is $600. And if you think about it, some other star trackers come with a counterweight system included at no extra cost. So this could be a turnoff for some people. However, you don't need the counterweight system. If you don't use the counterweight system, it does limit the focal length that you're gonna use to about 200 millimeters and below, although you can get lucky pushing it, especially if your polar alignment is on point. However, your polar alignment isn't super accurate without another add-on, which is the polar scope. However, I would say that the polar scope is not necessary at all if you're just gonna stick with wide field shots, you know, 14 millimeter on up to about say 85 millimeter you should be fine with just using the built-in polar finder so this might be for you if you are looking for an easy to set up and portable star tracker that you can take on short little hikes for Milky Way photos but is also upgradable to be more robust if your budget allows it also if you're looking to do time lapses this might be a good option for you too however make sure that if you do uh, time lapses and you want to do a panning shot make sure you lay it flat or you'll end up with the first time lapse I ever tried Funny, right? All right, so who this isn't for is for hikers and backpackers that love taking Milky Way shots while they're out there. The Move Shoot Move might be a better option for you because it is a half a pound lighter, but it doesn't come with counterweight options at all. And if you're looking to move into deep sky astrophotography and continue going deeper, you're better off going with a full on tracking mount. All right, so I do have a question for you. What feature of this star tracker do you like? Let's discuss that down in the comment. Overall, if your budget allows it, this is a great and portable star tracker. It's easy to use and lightweight. Don't let the lack of included accessories turn you away. This star tracker can still help you produce some amazing images of the night sky. 
If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, subscribe, and then hit that little notification bell so that way YouTube does tell you when I upload the next video. I want to thank you for watching. Clear skies.